Hey Grade 8, my name is Miss Blake and I'm Head of Senior Schooling and the Arts at Moranbar State High School. Today I'm going to be running through with you the elective offerings that you have to study next year in Grade 9. So when you're in Grade 9 next year, you may choose to select one or more of the arts subjects. And the subjects that we offer include visual arts, drama, media and music. So why would you study the arts? Um, the arts, any of the arts subjects fosters creativity and helps you think in new and exciting ways. Almost any job search that you go on to these days has creativity as one of the top skills that they're looking for in their employees. It also helps you to explore unique perspectives about the world and understandings. It helps you to express yourselves. It develops your emotional intelligence and it helps you grow into a well-rounded human. And whether or not you choose to study the arts in grade nine or even in grade 10 or senior schooling, I do want you to know that students who study an arts subject tend to perform well, um, sorry, tend to perform better academically in all of their other subjects. And the belief of, of this is because that it helps you to think in um, different ways. It, it activates different parts of your brain and it helps you with your critical creative problem solving skills. So visual art is the first um, elective that you may consider studying. Um, visual arts provides students with opportunities to understand and appreciate the roles of visual arts in past, present um, traditions and cultures, as well as the contributions of contemporary artists and their aesthetic, historical and cultural influences. Now in visual arts, you'll look at studying this subject for a semester. Um, and we be broken up into two units across the semester. And in each unit, you'll be looking at creating a making piece and a responding piece. So the making piece is the actual making of the artwork and the responding piece is the reading and writing, um, analyzing, evaluating um, the works of yourself and other artists. In Grade 9 Visual Arts specifically, we do a unit on still life drawing and we do a unit on liner printing, looking at pop art. So it will help you develop those technical skills in drawing, which is the foundation of all the, pretty much all of the other um, media areas and also lets you specialise in lino printing, which is where you carve out your designs onto blocks and you print them using inks and then colour them. There are a lot of careers that are related to visual arts. So you may be interested in doing something quite specific in the creative industries, such as being an architect, a fashion designer, graphic designer, illustrator, interior designer, um, web designer, photographer, artist. You might want to be looking at doing a, be a florist or a hairdresser or makeup artist. Any of those industries that use as creativity um, would, be really, would be really beneficial for you to study the visual arts. All right, drama. Um, so drama gives students opportunities to make and respond to drama by planning, creating, adapting, producing, performing, interpreting and evaluating a range of drama works or events in a variety of settings. So it is important to know if you are interested in studying drama. It is a very practical subject and you will be up on your feet most lessons. Um, participation is critical and what that means is you have to perform. Okay, so if you're not prepared to get up in front of a group of people and perform, this may not be the subject for you because you cannot pass this subject if you don't participate in the performance aspect. Um, the other thing is you'll be required to work with other students collaboratively. So it's an excellent subject for developing those teamwork, group work, communication skills. Um, but it is important for you to know that if you want to do the subject, you will have to be working with others frequently. Like um, any of the art subjects, the assessment does have a making and a responding component. So the making is where you're creating and, um, creating and performing, and the responding is when you're writing about works of drama. In Grade 9 Drama, there are two units. The first unit is Improvisation, um, where you have to come up with your own script, so a very loose script or an idea, and then you have to um, perform it without any lines. So you have to be able to think quickly on your feet um, and come up with your own lines and actions um, at that point in time. Um, the second unit is Children of the Black Skirt, and this is looking at Australian Gothic theatre. Um, where you analyse and evaluate the play, and then you also perform pieces of the play in groups. Drama is a really important subject. Um, the reason why is it helps to develop your oral language skills. 
Um, it boosts your reading achievement. It improves your social skills. It builds confidence and self-esteem. It nurtures your self-expression. It teaches emotional regulation and it increases writing skills outcomes. If you're perhaps interested in going into a career in, in the performing arts, um, you may be you know, interested in being an actor or a dancer in entertainment, but also any career that's gonna involve you getting up and speaking in front of people would really benefit from the study of drama. So if you're thinking of going into education, being a teacher, um, being a lawyer, um, any, any role that requires you to have great communication skills and presentation skills, drama would be really beneficial for you to study. In media arts. So media arts practices refers to art making and artworks composed and transmitted through film, television, radio, print, gaming, and web-based media. Students explore the role of the media in reflecting and shaping society's values, attitudes, and beliefs. So in media arts in grade nine, students will be expected to plan and create short media works, which means you'll be writing, filming, storyboarding, and editing your own productions. Again, the assessment does involve a making component, which is where you'll be filming and editing short films, but also a responding component where you'll be expected to analyze and evaluate and write about media arts works. In year nine media, the units that you'll be studying um, include a portfolio of film and photography, um, which is basically where you start to develop skills that you'll need in media. And then you can apply those skills in unit two, um, where you get to make a zombie film trailer. Um, so that's a really exciting project that you'll be able to do in the unit two of media studies. Careers related to media arts. Um, again, we have things like acting, costume design, games developer, graphic designer, journalist, um, multimedia specialist, photographers, screenwriters, scriptwriters, stage management. Um, directors, film and TV editors, illustrators, web designers. So there's actually a wide range of um, careers in the entertainment industry and creative industries that media arts would really be beneficial um, for you if you're interested in going down those pathways. Okay, finally, last but not least, we do have music. So music um, involves students making and um, responding um, to music artworks. Um, exploring and engaging in music practices in class, school, and your community. Um, you gain practical, technical, and listening skills and make choices um, when you're communicating through your music. So you'll be expected to compose, plan, perform in front of an audience. So again, if you're not big on performance and getting up in front of people, um, maybe reconsider your choice of music. Um, but having said that, don't let it put you off because it does provide a lot of really great opportunities for you. Again, our assessment is making and responding. Um, so making, you will be composing and performing songs on an instrument and responding is where you will be um, listening to music work and writing about it through analysis and evaluation. The two units in Year 9 Music, um, we start with music theory and an instrument. So you will have a look at some of the foundational theory um, in music and then you'll be able to select an instrument um, and play a part of a song um, to perform. In Unit 2, you're looking specifically at Australian music and the influence of um, music around the world on the Australian music. Um, so you'll be doing a research task for that and you'll also be um, playing um, a section of an a well-known Australian song as your performance piece. That's pretty much it for the arts. Um, just a quick recap. You may choose to select between visual art, drama, media, or music. All of our assessment, it does involve making and responding components, which means don't expect to go into our subjects and just be doing practical. Um, you will have theoretical components. Um, thank you so much for your time and for listening. If you have any questions, you can come and find me down in the eye center. I'm happy to answer anything um, you may have questions about, and I look forward to hopefully working with you um, all next year. Thank you.